What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. Well, good evening. It is the Earth Master here on the live stream with an update video. I keep thinking it's afternoon, but it's the evening time. Uh, it is uh, May 1st, 2022. Holy smokes, it's already May. 6.40 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 2.7 earthquake here into the Indonesia area. Let's go ahead and check out the latest movement here across the board with the USGS map. And uh, some activity showing up, no doubt, here on the board. Nothing within the last hour, at least anything above 2.5. In order for the last activity, we've got to go in through the uh, all magnitudes map here where we're still seeing quite a bit of movement up here around the Clear Lake area. And I kind of want to explain to everyone what's going on up here. This is the area called the geysers. A lot of people get confused on this region because there are actually no geyser activity up here in this area of Northern California. There are no geysers. So I hate, it, hate to break it to you. Uh, there is, however, hydrothermal operations ongoing throughout the Cobb Mountain region. And that is a, a facility and a business called Calpine. Look it up. I suggest you look it up on the internet if you don't believe me. Calpine Energy Solutions is up here around the Cobb Mountain region. And they do perform uh, a pretty interesting technique of creating energy. Okay, I'll let you look into that yourself. I've covered this numerous times here around the Cobb Mountain area. No geysers up here. No geyser activity. But they are looking at a whole bunch of earthquakes, and there's a, a, quite a few of them. And I know Calpine does not like this because uh, they were sued a couple years back. Check out the lawsuit. 103 earthquakes in the vicinity of the Calpine operation field. Cobb Mountain, Clear Lake Volcanic Field. Northern California, pretty quiet aside from that activity. Uh, one earthquake down here south of that region, outside of the uh, Santa Rosa area, around St. Helena, just to the west of there. It looks like about 8.6 kilometer depth for that 2.0. Bay Area, pretty quiet. Uh, eastern part, man, I tell you what, eastern part of the Sierra Nevada has gone almost like there's nothing being reported. There's no activity whatsoever over here. A little bit of movement around the Ridgecrest area and even Southern California, extremely quiet. A 1.7 area, the Yorba Linda area down south. But aside from that, the West Coast looks pretty quiet, folks. Zooming up here to the Mount St. Helens area. Looks like they are finally adding in some of the quakes I've been yakking about here every night, right? I'm not just yakking because they're earthquakes. I'm yakking because they're not reporting them. Let's go ahead and check out the Tremor map tonight, which, by the way, Shows no tremors and once again here along the PNSN network, right? And I do want to backtrack here real quick. A couple uh, folks, my viewers commented that there was, uh, well, over 800 epicenters of uh, tremor along the Vancouver Island area yesterday uh, from, a, from a, apparently another channel here on the YouTube area. Just to let you know, those, that's an incorrect info, information there from that channel. And I seen that video in question, I believe... They uh, were mistaken on the date range. If you go back to uh, March 30th, obviously, yes, uh, we, we did see some uh, trimmer kick up here into the Vancouver Island ranges, well over 800. But this is not new. This is well over a month old. So just wanted to clarify that. I've seen a couple comments mentioning about another channel here on the YouTube um, about trimmer, but that's old. So they made a mistake, but mistakes happen, right? Mount St. Helens area. Let's go ahead and zoom in here to the overview of Mount St. Helens where uh, they're finally adding on a few earthquakes out here around this volcano that's been seeing quite a bit of swarming activity here over the last, I would say, last week. Now, it's not major swarming, but it is seismic activity. Let's go ahead and check out the latest uh, seismic graph. Man, do you see that? Loaded super quick. Uh, there is some activity right here within the last couple hours. Th those are earthquakes. If you don't know how to read a seismograph, let me just clue you in real quick. Uh, earthquakes are defined as well-defined spikes on the graph right here. And these are indeed earthquakes. Even this little blue one right here and this little red one. If we go back over the last af uh, this afternoon and uh, this morning time frame. Of course, this works in the UTC uh, daily period, which is I'm not going to go into it. But here's the earthquake activity. Some over here as well in these blue, uh, little blue and black spikes. There is a very well-defined earthquake signature right there. And I believe they figure that as a 0.9. So 
So these are not big earthquakes, but there is some earthquake activity occurring nonetheless there at Mount St. Helens. And they're finally getting onto it. They're, they're getting into it, folks. Up here outside of Seattle, we did see some movement, a 3.6 earlier around the Mount Vernon, Washington area. A couple small microquake aftershocks following that 3.6 earlier today. Some deeper movement into the area of Washington. Uh, Western coast, like I say, is uh, pretty quiet as far as general background activity goes. Nothing showing up here on Yellowstone. So even though the USGS says it, let's go ahead and check it out, right? Let's go ahead and check out the live seismographs. And I suggest you guys do that yourselves as well. If you're wondering about earthquakes, uh, say, wow, there's nothing going on in this area. Or maybe I felt this area. There's a wide array of uh, public accessible seismographs um, across the country, across the world that anyone can access to view earthquake activity. And there's nothing going on here at Yellowstone. Nada. Zip zero. Uh, someone mentioned me um, to use Volcano Discovery. I'm not a big Volcano Discovery fan. The reason why anyone that pops up that page will be blasted with hundreds of ads and uh, who knows what. In, any type of spam uh, info could be popping up on there as well. I'm not a big fan of Volcano Discovery. And a lot of times they only show earthquakes that are, um, that could be popping up here from the, who knows what, who knows what triggers these false earthquakes, but they leave them up on their map and they're not relevant. So if there's an earthquake in West Virginia or New York, I suggest go to the New, uh, New York seismograph um, webpage and look at the web recorders yourself. Uh, because uh, I, I don't know, I've, I'm not a big fan of spam. And th that page is a major spam bot. Uh, looking at the rest of the area, Caribbean Sea looks fairly quiet, folks. Some movement around the southwestern edge of Puerto Rico. Uh, aside from that, one earthquake here in the Guatemala area, just offshore, 4.3. That one actually from early this morning into the Middle America Trench, South America area. Still haven't seen any subsequent movement here. We did see that very deep earthquake, a 4.2 at 570 kilometers here, way down into the subduction zone of the Peru Chile Trench here, just to the east of uh, our little quiet area. We kind of looked at uh, some historical earthquake activity in this area, pretty quiet. So got to watch that zone pretty closely. Uh, we did see a 4.7 further south here in the Chile area. Still tells me that there's definitely build up of pressure here in this region along that subduction zone so watch it closely we did see some further activity here in the tonga trench still waiting on movement down here south folks kermadec uh, islands area should be seeing something above the 5.0 threshold um, i'm thinking probably above the six in that matter uh, very soon solomon islands a uh, little activity up through the philippines as well uh, at least the southern end of the philippine trench with a four pointer and we're getting a little little activity noticeable activity here around Volca uh, volcano islands japan region now this is the uh trench area right here uh izu trench and uh, no doubt uh, volcanic islands right obviously there's a reason for that name a lot of activity kicking up here along this area of the plate boundary so gotta watch this getting some deep movement at 44.9 kilometers with that 5.5 earlier and also up here uh somewhat shallow earthquake of 4.3 at 10 kilometers uh, way up here into the russia area off the coast of russia 4.7 this one's super deep 392 kilometers as well so you notice a large scale deep movement pretty much uh well somewhat globally so when we start to see that deeper earthquake activity that's a time to take note of subsequent shallower larger earthquake activity here pretty soon so be on a guard. Uh, Lucian Trench, uh, again, man, look at this. Even for Alaska, this is pretty quiet, folks. A little bit of buildup and movement north of Anchorage, but overall, this is very quiet. I, I mean, I'm talking very quiet, including Hawaii. Look at the all magnitudes. I got to show you guys this. Look at this. Eight, eight measly earthquakes. Anyone knows and that watches this channel, we always cover, we always try to cover Hawaii. Eight earthquakes is almost unheard of in the all magnitudes department here on Hawaii. So uh, I, it, it's hard to say exactly what's coming, 
but I know something's coming and it's pretty, uh, it's a calm before the storm, kind of like that tornado or, or hurricane. So to speak. actually a hurricane pretty much gives you a heads up. Uh, Pecos, Pecos, Texas, right? We got it, right? 3.5 and a couple twos kicking up here throughout the course of the 24 hour period. Also some movement outside of OKC and uh, the Quinton area or Crowder area of Oklahoma. Nothing going on across the New Madrid zone and uh, nothing to report here along the eastern coast. All right, we checked the EMSC model. There's not a whole lot of, <coughs> excuse me, other uh, earthquake activity showing up here on their map. And each state has their own uh, seismograph station. So um, I'm not gonna go and dig into that region, but uh, there's no earthquake activity to report here along the eastern part of the country. Uh, otherwise, it would be showing up across the board on the uh, the Webby quarters and the seismograph stations. That's 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 the key, right? You can have these automated systems that say, "Hey, wow!" You know, and the most recent one was the earthquake over here in Japan. Remember, there was an eight point. Uh, what was it, guys? What was it? An eight point one or something like that here, right here in this area, south of Tokyo, right? And it showed up on Twitter. It showed up on a couple other social media networks. And uh, I believe it showed up right here on, uh, was it USGS or maybe the EMSC? But it was a false earthquake. Whatever triggered it was an error. We gotta remember these computers, sometimes they, they create errors. And so I, what I did when that earthquake happened, I looked at the seismographs. I seen no indication of any type of earthquake when that eight, supposed 8.1 struck. So we gotta look at the web recorders, the live data, these automated systems such as the USGS, the Volcano Discovery, the EMSC, the GeoNet, sometimes they make mistakes. So we always got to turn towards the raw data, which is the seismograph stations. Nothing going on at Yellowstone uh, currently. Uh, Earthquake Scanda, let's go ahead and check out that uh, movement here real quick. And uh, looks like uh, nada, zip zero. These guys are still reporting an earthquake over here around Maine. A 1.5, that's not big of a deal. Bangor, main area at five kilometers. So the importance here, folks, that I try to stress is the uh, the facts and the data. The raw data is what we look for. I mean, I try to stress it. I, I definitely do. Don't take what you see on Volcano Discovery. I'm not even going to pull up that page because it is a hack of a spam page. Let me tell you. Huge ad ad blocker you definitely need an ad blocker and a spam blocker on that page not even joking folks sorry to throw them under the bus but i'm i'm calling it like i see it solarham.net website right now uh, not a whole lot of solar weather activity to report kp index is all under the g1 class storm category and looking at the raw data the raw data here the solar x-ray flux Shows very minimal activity here, just barely into the C range. Uh, no major M flares or X flares to report from the sun at this time. There is some sunspot activity, 2999 and 3001. But these things are just a bunch of eyeballs floating across the globe that pose really no serious risk of any type of solar flaring activity whatsoever. And looking around the bend, there's not a whole lot around the bend. It looks pretty clear, folks. So entering into a little territory of some very quiet activity uh national data buoy system here i think we've seen something over here uh looks like they may have gotten that fix over here along the eastern part of the coast what we need though is more of these out here in the pacific uh these buoy systems i'm not even joking um especially up here or down here, I should say, look at this one. What's this one kicking up here? Go ahead and check this out near the Andaman Sea. I just seen this. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, data actually looks pretty clear. I'm not for sure why it's glitching out. Uh, let's see what we got. Little speck. We're talking uh, meters, 87, 80. Maybe it looks like maybe a couple inches glitch, a little inch. A couple inches of, of uh, some technical errors right there. Maybe not even that. Maybe an inch or so. Who knows? Maybe a, a penguin or... <laughs> I don't know what's out there, okay? Who knows? A huge bird may have landed on that buoy out there. 
Doesn't it look like a nice place to land? Say if you're sailing out there across the ocean and you see this thing floating out here in the water, it's got a nice little perch, little area to just take a break, right? Okay, you guys get it. Raw data, that's what we look for. That is not anything to worry about. No tsunami, no land movement, no major super volcano forming underneath of it. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Hope everyone does have a good night. Please stay safe and uh, make sure you guys subscribe out here. We, we try to provide facts, folks. We, this is, we could throw up a bunch of thumbnails with, oh, my God, there's a 100-meter buoy um, glitch <coughs> and create fear and fear-mongering. But you know what? YouTube is cracking down on that, believe it or not. YouTube is definitely cracking down on the fear-mongering, which I highly think they should and also the uh the fake reports you know saying something's happened when it didn't so that's kind of why we stick to the facts here on this channel and that's how it's been folks if you watch this channel you will know that's what we provide here on this channel 100 percent of the time whether it's good news or bad news facts are facts so we will chat you guys later folks hope everyone enjoys the rest of their weekend monday monday oh my gosh monday tomorrow Goodness. All right, guys. Have a good night.